He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. It's a lovely day, so you hit the mini golf course to enjoy some sun and putting. You reach the hole with the big windmill and decide to do a little physics to ensure that you will get past the obstacle. The windmill has four blades, each of which are a quarter of a meter wide, and they turn with a counterclockwise angular speed of 100 degrees per second. The distance from the T to the tunnel that the blades pass in front of is five meters. You do a few calculations and decide that the optimum velocity for the ball will be 3.6 meters per second. If we consider the green to be frictionless and the tunnel is precisely covered by one of the blades at the instant that you hit the ball, will you indeed make it through the obstacle unscathed? To answer this, we need both linear kinematics and rotational kinematics. So check out my tutorials on these subjects if you need to. Otherwise, go ahead and figure out if this shot is going to work. So this one is pretty straightforward. We just need to calculate how long it will take for the ball to reach the tunnel and then figure out how much the windmill has rotated during that time. It's a 5 meter distance, so 5 meters divided by 3.6 meters per second means that it takes 1.4 seconds to get there. The windmill rotates at 100 degrees per second. So we multiply that by 1.4 seconds and we get 140 degrees. So let's turn this thing 90 degrees and then another 50 and we can see that the tunnel is wide open. So the ball should indeed pass right through without a problem. As it happens, you had 10 bucks riding on this game, so don't say that physics never did anything for you. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.